learn from the right person learn from the right course understand what you want actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 you go as per your interest actually do not go as per institute's interest this is what i am repeatedly telling you in this video i am going to highlight about the reality so that freshers don't have to waste your mind now let's get started see before getting into this video i want you to watch this particular video where i've talked extensively about the industries industrial requirements and how you can escape from scam from piping design courses that institutes are selling basically and this video is going to be a more value added information on top of what i have already discussed actually hi everyone welcome to my channel and i am subhash chandra this is a part two of my previous video where i have said that i will speak about the core skills that are required for freshers based on industrial requirements so whatever that you learn from institutes are completely different than what the industry is actually wants. So first of all, I wanted to give you about the reality. So I want you to understand about the reality in the actual job basically. When you come as a fresher to a job, so we don't expect you to have a depth of knowledge in particular area. We understand that as a fresher, uh, you will lack on certain things actually. But there are things that we want you to be aware about. The first of all, uh, the philosophically, uh, you should understand about how piping design works basically. Piping design is all about pipes, fittings and bolts and nets and supports and valves and there are critical equipments are available. So you should understand a little bit chemistry about it. You should not be a candidate simply going uh, asking what is this pipe is about. So that should not be a question. You should understand the Pipe is a kind of material that are used in the piping designs. So, because pipes are used for the, to support, to ease the process flow condition. So, basically, the first thing as a uh, fresher, you have to know about the philosophical understanding about the piping design. Because that's how, when you come to the job, you are expected to have first one. And second is that, as a fresher, initially, you will not be given a, big activities like nobody will ask you to do the compressor piping or turbine piping they will ask you to start with small basically so the first thing you will have is that you will be asked to read pnid so you have to understand the pnid see there are issues actually there will be some sort of an uh, clarification you may require but functionally you have to know how to read the pnid you should not be a person uh, to say that where is a pnid even after having a pnid so you should be aware about this is the drawing that is known as PNID and where to pick the line number, what is line number, what is spec actually, what are known to be equipments, what are valves actually, how, how to read the flow direction. So these things are basic common things that you have to understand. So PNID reading is one of the key skill for freshers. So once after if somebody gives you a PNID then they are expected uh, expect you to work in 3d model or softwares nobody will ask you to immediately start with any engineering specifications or to go through some engineering projects the team would ask you to go through a 3d model or any 2d uh, drawings which are already available so you must be able to understand the 3d model so basically how to use the 3d model where to go for piping where to go for supports how to uh, read the line number of the uh, piping how to verify whether the, the the specification that is mentioned in the PNID is available in the 3D modeling software or 2D software and in 2D software how to understand the rollings of the piping whether it is the elbow is dropping down or it is rising up and what are the different types of supports how to read it so basically you should be good in reading the drawings see as I am repeatedly saying you will have some clarification nobody expect you to have 100% clarification but you should have a conceptual idea do not go blindly because that is the expectation actually so even in the interview that is the expectation nobody would um, ask you to um, make a routing for the uh, i mean um, uh, pressure relief valve or the compressors or the turbine but they would expect you to understand a basics of what is pnid is about how to read the pnid and how, what are the different types of fittings and why these fittings are basically used actually what are known as pipe support what are the different types of pipe supports these are the things generally asked actually so once after uh, what do you call uh, giving you a 3d model and uh, uh, 2d drawings basically 
So you must have read the PNID, 3D modeling software. Then they will ask you to do at least one line from the PNID, which is pending in the any 2D or 3D model actually. So basically you should know where to start. How you will start? From PNID, you will find the line number. Then you have to go to the respective drawing, which drawing you have to use actually. See drawings, the entire plot plans, I mean the process units are divided into multiple drawings, right? Even the elevation wise, the drawings are different. So you should know how to read the drawings basically. So what elevation you are working. So you have to refer the 3D model, you have to refer the uh, 2D drawings actually. Where is the line number? Where is the continuation? What is key plan and how to verify this drawing? So these are the real time jobs. So when you, I'm just sharing you the reality if you get into a job. The moment you get into a job, this is the reality. Initially, you'll be given a PNID, you will be given a, a 3D model and a 2D drawings to read. Then slowly they will ask you to start the line actually. And so that you should be able to understand the piping spec. What is piping spec and how to use the piping spec, how to uh, pick the fittings. And if it is a 3D model, how to automatically set the piping spec uh, from the uh, 3D model, uh, how to put the insulation, how to put the supports. These are the basic things. You can ask n number of questions to your seniors ab about how to route, whether do I have to maintain a space over here, wh whether any calculation needs to be done or uh, what is the minimum requirement for here, any constraint is there, any client specification is there, any requirement for a particular line to do it actually, all these things you can ask, but you should be able to start with. So that's what I'm asking actually. So let me just put one by one for freshers. For fresher, First thing I would say is that you should know how to read the PNID. There are a lot of courses available actually. Even in my uh, website, I have a course for uh, which will support for even from the beginners to an advanced level. And I've talked about how to read the PNID in all forms actually. And this course will also give you an idea about how detailed engineering progresses with the, with the progress in the PNID. So that's how it is. So reading PNID is the first skill that you have to have actually. Then fittings, fitting details and all uh, details are available in the YouTube. So you don't have to worry about it. There are materials available. There are videos available. You can go to n number of fittings actually. So this is about fittings actually. Third important thing you should know about standards. Standards in the sense, nobody will ask you to uh, remember all type of standards. You should know the standards of fittings basically. So basically you should be clearly aware about the fittings because what is B16.9? What is B16.11? What is B16.5 is about? All these details you should know. Only then you will be able to see most of the, uh, the dimensions are taken from a specific standards actually. So how these standards are referred? So where these dimensions are available actually? These things, you can ask questions. I'm not saying that at least you should aware. Okay, just uh, you should be having a common knowledge that yes, the flange details are taken from B16.5 and this fitting detail are taken from here and this fitting details are taken from here. It's okay if you do not know which page, but at least you should know which standard. That's all I'm asking. So aware about the standards for the fittings alone actually. Because there are lots of standards. See, as a fresher, you cannot read the 31.3 fully that everybody understand. Don't don't keep such an, uh, what do you call, expectation also. Nobody will ask you to uh, know everything about uh, ASME B31.3, but they will try to understand whether at least you are aware whether B31.3 is the uh, design that is required for the process piping design. So this is the basic information. Nobody will ask you to uh, um, uh, tell about a particular clause in the standard. So you should have a conceptual idea, but preferably you should ha you have to know the fitting details. I mean the, um, the international standard details for fittings. So this is the third part. And fourth part is that you should know how to read the piping GAs basically. What is piping GA? What is a key plan actually? From key plan, how to read the piping GA? Piping GAs, there are continuations. There are drawing nameplates are there, how to read the nameplates of a particular drawing, how to verify the continuation of the drawing, all these things you have to aware actually. So this is the fourth part. And the fifth part is that you should know at least the basic routing. Even if you do not know how to put the support, that is fine. But you should know at least the basics of routing. How routing needs to be done, where to start, where to end. What are the minimum parameters? What are the minimum parameters actually? 
so you have to maintain the accessibility operability and maintenance space there are various other parameters also there actually i have clearly explained those details in the pipe routing course actually so if you if you are going to take up this course you will be able to understand all dimensions of routing for all equipments right from basic equipment to the uh, critical equipments so these are the five areas that freshers have to use but provided uh, you have to have some good knowledge about these areas do not just have some basic knowledge and go the the kind of a basic knowledge that i am um, telling you is that you should have at least preferably conceptually good clarity of what you have understood basically don't do not simply read and go you have to understand what is this actually so conceptually have some idea because i know you are capable of doing it you guys have completed engineering it's not like you are a dumb fellows actually keep this in your mind you guys are a mechanical engineering candidates and don't ever underestimate yourself you have done lot of big works compared to the piping that i am talking about just because it is new to you it doesn't mean that you are dumb you are a brilliant and you can do phenomenal jobs actually provided you have to sit and read sit and read understand conceptually this is what i am telling you every time actually do not consider you can, you may have arrears you may might have failed in subject but that doesn't mean that you are dumb guys actually do not ever underestimate because you do not know what is your potential over time there are people have tremendously improved improved their potential over time with uh, the the circumstances and the scenarios may change basically so don't ever imagine that you are completely dumb you are unaware actually sit and read give an importance to learning see don't think that you really have to be good in academics to give an importance in readings actually if you really want to grow you have to learn so that point i wanted to clarify actually so make sure these five areas you learn wisely so the last point i want to end with actually so these are the five reality areas that the industry is expecting you to have actually so do not unnecessarily spend uh, in the extensive courses for uh, by spending 2 lakhs or 1 and 1/2 lakhs basically because all these materials are already available in the uh, internet just have a list of whatever that i have said okay this area should be your primary area then you list out a secondary area which you wanted to learn say let's say i have given an example if you want to learn about the valves learn it if you want to learn about any um, uh, specialty items like um, um, like uh, uh, pressure relief valve and stream traps or any filters learn it not an issue if you want to improve a knowledge about the pressure vessels learn it but those are not important as a fresher these are primary and you really have to be good in this so repeatedly i am telling you because there are institutes teaching n number of areas because since piping design is so vast and um, they will take you through a uh, theories after theories after theories after theories actually tell me what is the um, uh, reason for a piping engineer to calculate about the velocity of a pedem the flow there is no reason for to calculate a velocity because those are done by process engineers in the actual industries how come a piping engineer expect to do the flow velocity calculation so those are actually not required so if you <coughs> go to an extensive course actually <coughs> they will teach you lot of topics i am not saying that these topics are useless i am saying these topics are not useful for being a fresher actually because uh, let's say that you learned 100 topics but the industry only reach five topics then what is the value of half of 95 topics that you have unnecessarily learned over a period of time if you don't use the topics you will forget it actually right so be realistic and be practical in life actually do not unnecessarily waste your money actually because those are your hard earned money either your father's money or your parents money so whatever money it is those are hard earned money use it wisely learn from the right person learn from the right course understand what you want actually 1 2 3 4 5 6 you go as per your interest actually do not go as per institute's interest this is what i am repeatedly telling you if you have any clarification you can always message me you can comment in this uh, video i'll be more happy to help you to clarify if you have further comments also so with this let me end this video i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra